We just thank you, Lord God, for the outpouring of your spirit. You don't want to just refresh us. You want to pour out. We thank you, Lord God, the revival is within us. And so we declare revival in this place. We thank you, Lord, that you are drawing people from the north, south, east, and west to this place right now. We thank you, Lord, that even cars passing by are suddenly being drawn into the parking lot and drawn into this church. We thank you that your spirit is drawing people. We thank you that today is a day of salvation. That, God, you're drawing people into your kingdom today. We thank you that today is a day of healing and, and deliverance, Lord. Today is also a day of transformation, for today is the day of the Lord. And so, Lord, we just glorify you. And we honor you, Lord God. We thank you for touching each person that needs a touch from you. If you need the touch and you want to exercise your faith, just stretch your hand to the Lord and expect that the fire of heaven will come and consume you. If you need healing, receive it right now. I know two people right now that are watching probably from home, Doug and Joshua Mizrahi, two of our team on the cameras and on the media. We just declare healing. Touch them right now. Set them free, Lord God, of all that ails them right now. And anyone else that needs that touch, just receive the fire of God in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, for touching our president and all those in authority. We thank you, Lord God, for protecting Israel. And Lord, protecting our soldiers, protecting this nation. And Lord God, we specifically, more than anything, pray for the church that we would just arise and shine and let the glory of the Lord be seen in us and through us. And we just bless you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and just greet them and say good morning. Welcome to the house of the Lord. All right, as we get back to our seats, we're going to acknowledge it's the first of the month, first Sunday of the month, so we're going to um, do what we always do, celebrate people's birthdays. So if your birthday is in April, stand to your feet. April birthday, stand to your feet, celebrate John. All right. Any other April birthdays? Okay, some of you are already standing, so I don't know, because you're, you know. But April birthdays, celebrate you. How about any anniversaries this month? Ron and Taylor's anniversary. Anybody else? Anniversaries? All right. Yes, Terry. Yes. 26. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Anniversaries and birthdays. All right. One announcement, correction, possibly correction that you're going to hear in the video. And who you're going to see doing the announcements today is not Joshua. It's actually Jordan. So you might think it's Joshua, but it's Jordan. Jordan wears the glasses just to help you know the twins, if you want to know who's who. The one that wears the glasses is Jordan of the twins. He's doing the announcements this morning on the video. But um, possibly this Friday, as you know, we've been doing the Chosen series. This Friday is supposed to be episode uh, five and six, but it hasn't been released by Chosen for us to have it played yet. So we'll see if it's given to us this week. If it is, then it will be this Friday. But come Friday anyway, because normally on our second Friday of the month, we have Friday Night Fire, which is our time to pray. And prayer is what this nation needs, what we need, what the world needs. And so prayer is where the power is. So I encourage you, whether we have the movie night or prayer night, we're going to be praying anyway. Come out Friday night at 7 o'clock. All right, with that being said, let's go to the announcement video followed by worship. Good morning, Praise Tabernacle. We are people restored and inspired serving everywhere. Here's what's coming up this week. Friday night is movie night here at Praise Tabernacle and we are showing season four of The Chosen. This Friday, April 12th, we are showing episodes five through six. And this is a great opportunity to spend time with friends and family. 
and showing starts at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary. Our website and app now has a daily dose of praise daily devotions to help study in your devotion time that goes along with our teaching throughout the series. It is a great way to stay fresh in the Word daily. It is also a great tool for discipleship with your family and friends. Altar ministry meeting will be today after second service in the multi-purpose room. For more information, see Elder Lee Boren. Praise Bowling is Saturday, April 20th at 1 p.m. at Kingpen. You can sign up on our Praise app or website, and this is a great way to have family time and raise funds for our care ministry. Everyone is encouraged to sign up and attend. For more information, see Harry Warren for details. Ministry Fair 2024 will be Sunday, April 21st after our second service. This is the time for you, our members, to see different ministries we offer for everyone in your family to get involved in the service of your calling. Ladies of Praise 4th Annual Spring Tea will be Saturday, May 4th. Registration and tickets for the tea can be done today on our Praise app or website. Here's a quick clip from our Ladies of Praise. Hello, ladies. We would all like to welcome you to this year's Ladies of Praise Spring Tea. So save the date for May 4th at 11 a.m. And our speaker this year is none other than my beautiful mother-in-law, Eldest Dolores Doty Roberts. So you cannot miss. Yes. Our tickets are, how much of our, our tickets? I, they're $10. $10. $10 tickets for ages 10 and up. So be sure to register at our Praise app. If you haven't and need some assistance for registration, please see one of us and we'll be glad to help you. We're going to be what getting all dressed up. Well, we've yes. got to be nice and cute, okay. ladies. We've got to wear our hats, and there will be a contest. Oh, so wow. make sure you stay tuned. I love your hat. That's yes. nice. <laughs> so cute. Don't forget, Ladies Retreat is also this October 18th through 20th. More details to come. We're tonight with Dana Isles, and Face Down will be Friday, June 7th at 7 p.m. here at Praise Tabernacle. Remember, tithes and offerings should be given cheerfully because the Lord loves a cheerful giver. We have offering boxes at both main entrances of the church. Online giving options are available on our website, praisetabernacle.church/give, and also on our Praise app. You can find us on our social media pages, and we ask that you subscribe and help us spread the word by liking and sharing our content. We are now broadcasting our 10.30 a.m. Sunday service live and podcasting on the internet radio at WeGospelRadio at Live365.com and a Caribbean Christian music radio station. Pre-recorded sermons and services will be replayed at 10.30 a.m. and 5 o'clock p.m. Monday through Saturday on We Gospel Radio and at Caribbean Christian Music. If you want to connect further with your church family, grow your understanding of the word, and impact your community, join the Kingdom Expansion Group or Key Group on our Praise app. There are also many other praise groups where you can find a place to serve and grow. As a reminder, if you have planted a seed of gospel in someone this week, come light a smaller candle in the basket at the altar. And if you have led someone to the Lord, light a bigger candle as we celebrate the expansion of God's kingdom. Now let us draw near to the Lord as we worship Him and prepare our hearts for today's sermon by Pastor Dr. Joshua Kennedy entitled, From Desolation to Redemption, from the Lamentations 1 in the Love Return series. Have a blessed rest of your day and a blessed week also. Now let us worship the Lord.
tried so hard to see you And I've tried so hard to see you So long to believe it You chose someone like me To carry your victory
And he 
So oh. 